Hello and welcome to One Stop Co-op Shop Stream, your one stop for co-op news and playthroughs. And today I am super excited. It's Marvel Champions release day. That's right, everybody. We finally got it. Sinister Motives is out. Two new heroes to try out. So I'm going to show them both to you. One here on the One Stop Co-op Shop Stream channel, which is going to be Spider-Man Miles. And I'm going to do Spider-Gwen over on the One Stop Co-op Shop channel. So there will be a link in the show notes. Go ahead and check that video out as well if you're interested in Gwen. But let's see what's going on with Miles today. So as always, if this is your first time joining us, I don't play these heroes ahead of time. I've not looked through their decks. Today we're going to play the uh, Green Goblin. So I'm not showing off any of the new scenarios today. If you want to see those, come back and watch our stream over the next couple of weeks. We'll be playing through the entire campaign. Campaign, but today I'm playing old school Green Goblin Mutagen formula just to give us a uh, spider themed villain to go against and just playing it standard right out of the box. All right, so let's learn a little bit about Miles Morales. He, ha he is a civilian. His response is after you change to this form, shuffle one Spider Man card from your discard pile into your deck. Okay, nice. So they're encouraging you to flip over to get some of your best cards back. Once you've leaped from skyscrapers and fought off bad guys, everything else is a chore. Yeah, he looks a little bored over there. Uh, and then, but now he is uh, not so bored flying around through the sky. Very cool. So Venom Blast, special deal two damage to an enemy and stun that enemy. All right, so this is a keyword. I'm assuming his cards are gonna tell us when that triggers. Spider-Man Camouflage, special. Give Spider-Man the tough status card and confuse the enemy. Again, I'm assuming these are gonna trigger based on cards in his deck because it doesn't tell you how to trigger them otherwise. So let's see what it is. Oh, but I did notice a new keyword, which is Web Warrior, which we've been talking about over the uh, stream the last couple weeks. Very cool. I'm looking forward to see what Web Warrior allies we have as well. All right, so starting hand is six cards. Let's go ahead and draw up and starts with Young Love. Oh my. Ooh, Marvel Champions getting a little bit racy over here. A little kissing uh, upside down. I mean, I'm sure it's iconic from a comic book as well, but I remember the upside down kiss from like one of the first Tobey Maguire Spider-Man movies, if not the first one, um, is, is the iconic upside down kiss I remember. So they got Young Love. Now they're both upside down which means they could both be right side up. I don't know. Anyway, uh, pretty cool. Very cool picture. It's very uh, on point for them. All right, so alter ego action. Heal three damage from Gwen, Stacy, and Miles Morales, which is awesome. And I do, ironically, have Ghost Spider, Gwen, Stacy over here. But my only problem is I'm not hurt at all, and neither is she. So maybe I hold on to it? We'll see. Uh, so let's see. Ooh, a zero cost... Justice card, Global Logistics, action, exhaust one shield card you control. Look at the top four cards of a player deck and the encounter deck. Discard any number of those and put the others back on top or the bottom of that deck in any order. Wow. I kind of like that, but I don't have any shield cards, do I? Wait, what is this? Exhaust a shield card, right? Shield tactic. All right, so we're starting to get some shield stuff in here. Maybe I'll have a shield card. All right, we got Acrobatics, which is a Spider-Man Miles card. Let's see, it is a hero action. Deal two damage to an enemy. If that enemy has a stun status, deal three additional damage. Woo, goes up to five, nice. If the enemy uh, has the confused status, deal three additional damage to it. Wait, wait, if it has stun status, deal three additional damage. If it has confused, deal three additional. Ooh, if it has both, that's an additional six damage for a total of eight, okay. And by the way, it's not acrobatics. You probably already read that. It's arachnobatics. Uh, <laughs> nice. All right. So a field agent. Uh, oh, there's a shield card. All right. So I got global logistics where I can look with the top four cards and kind of mess with the deck. And I do have my uh, first shield card. So it's a support card field agent. Use up to three backup counters. Uh, hero interrupt when a shield ally would take any amount of consequential damage exhaust field agent or remove one backup counter from it and prevent one of that damage okay so this is going to stop damage to shield agents but i don't have any in my hand right now but do i keep it to work with global logistics probably not at the beginning oh and another arachnobatics now this card also not great right now because they're only doing one damage each at this point so I'm getting rid of Young Love, I think. Uh, gonna get rid of this, even though I'd love to look through the cards. This might be worth saving, but I, I wanna see more cards. I'm, I get super excited when I do these. I'm gonna keep Gwen, Gwen Stacy. Let's uh, go Spider, let's see how she does. Uh, play this card only if you control a Web Warrior. Okay, that check. 
Uh, interrupt. When Ghost Spider leaves play, search your deck for a hero-specific event and add it to your hand, and then shuffle the deck. So I can get some of these hero-specific event cards back in my deck. So that seems kind of good. I'm going to hold on to her, see if I can't play her on turn one. Oh, look, it's Field Agent again. Uh, surveillance Team. Oh, we know this card. This is uh, not a new one. Uh, so three Snoop Counters. Enters play with all three. Uh, action. Exhaust it and remove a Snoop Counter from it to remove a threat from a scheme. So good old, you know, just remove three threat basically for two. Just has to be over the course of three turns. All right. Web Shot. It's a hero action. Deal four damage to an enemy. If you paid for this card using a lightning resource, resolve Spider-Man's Venom Blast. All right. So here we go. Now we're starting to figure out how to get this. So deal two damage and stun. Ooh, I like that. So web shot is four damage. And if you pay for it with a lightning, which I have this field agent here, um, it just says a lightning. It doesn't say only lightning. So yes, that would be enough. Wait, what? Sky Destroyer uh, response. After you play a shield card, exhaust star Sky Destroyer. Deal two damage to an enemy. Oh, so this is going to be like, as long as I keep playing shield stuff, the Sky Destroyer is going to do some damage. Let's see if I can pay for that. I don't know if I can. Uh, global Logistics, Exhaustive Shield, look at four cards. Okay. Huh. There's a lot of stuff I want to do here. But the most important thing, I think, is this web shot, because that way I get to stun. So I don't really get to do anything on this side, just four recovery. 2-2-2 two, two, two stat line, not too bad. So let's do a web shot, and we're going to use... Let's see. This is going to use three of my cards. Yeah, I'm not going to have enough after that to pay for either Sky Destroyer or Ghost Spider. So I'm going to use the Sky Destroyer to pay for, well, but maybe what Sky Destroyer is a better option here, right? Because then I got long term. Uh, what does it do? Just do two damage every time and I got a free card here. So maybe I just do Sky Destroyer here and I don't stun. Oh, I do have this enemy here. Don't forget about that. Deal two damage to an enemy. All right, I'm putting the Sky Destroyer out. And uh, maybe I'll see if I can hold on to that web shot. So let's get rid of Surveillance Team. I don't care much about that. Ghost Spider, sorry. I wanted to keep you, but I can't. Um, I guess it doesn't matter. Web Shot's going to pay for that Sky Destroyer. Then I'm going to pay one to put this Field Agent in. Hopefully, there are some Shield Agent cards in my deck. Um, so that I can... Um, prevent some of that damage from them but when i do that response after you play a shield card exhaust it and deal two damage to an enemy we're gonna do two damage to this goblin thrall here and then i'm gonna do the last two myself so boom boom gone all righty so that is uh that's a start at least anyway we'll see we'll see hopefully this field agent pays off for me i mean it looks like with these global logistics if with nothing else all right so let's ready everything up and draw it back up to five cards Ooh, double resource another web shot which makes me happy but it's the wrong double resource oh swinging in Ooh, web shooters nice so uh I, I do like these if you remember exhaust them and remove a web counter from it to generate a wild resource it gives you three uses of that we got surveillance team again web shots so the only new one is this swinging in should i read it now yeah let's do it it's a thwart action remove four threat from a scheme if you paid for this card using a mental resource resolve spider-man's spidey camouflage Ooh, so that gives you tough and confuses the enemy. Oh, I like that. Remove four threat. Just need a mental resource. All right, all right. Well, the problem is I don't have both a lightning and a mental, so that would have to be my lightning, although I could use this for it. We'll see. We'll see. We uh, we have some options here. All right, but first things first over here, we're going to add one threat over here, and this says one completed, so we're not going to worry about that. Then Go Goblin is going to attack me. After Green Goblin attacks and damages you, place a threat on the main scheme. So he's going to attack me for two. Uh, I only have nine health here. I do have two defense. I'm just going to take this, though. Two plus a... The villain heals two damage. Well, the villain's not hurt, so that's just two. Boink, boink, which means I could have blocked it all, um, and there wouldn't have been that threat added to the main scheme, but that's okay. Is what it is at this point. All right, so that was that. Let's go ahead and draw our encounter card. And Goblin Soldier. It's a 1-1, one, one, one defeated. Deal one damage to the engaged player. Oh, let me make sure that Thrall didn't do anything. He's just got guard. All right, we're good with that Thrall. Um, so when defeated, we're going to do one damage to ourselves. So there's that. I would love to swinging in, remove four threat. It, what confuses them? 
and it gives me the tough status card. All of that seems real good. All right, well, under surveillance, oops. Oh, that is a shield card. Oh, so that would do two damage also. So do I do web shot to pay? So let's see, I can do web shot, or no, I can do this double resource to pay for uh, surveillance team over here, which would do two damage. Um, but then I don't have anything to, oh no, I have web shot to pay for this, but that's still not enough. Now, I think swinging in is gonna be my priority here. So I'm gonna get rid of web shot here to put in my web slinger. Um, so that gets three uses on it as well. Then I'm gonna use one of those uses for a wild resource. And I'm gonna use the surveillance team, sadly. Sorry, Sky Destroyer. Uh, I do wanna use it, but I'm gonna swing in. So that lets me remove four threat from a scheme. If you paid for this using a mental resource, which I did, I used both surveillance team and a wild mental over here. So that's two wild resources. Uh, you use your camouflage. So first things first, let's remove four from the main scheme because I don't want four on the main scheme. Then I am going to do, 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 do give Spider-Man the tough status card and confuse the enemy. Wow, that is pretty, pretty nifty. So the enemy will be confused because I'm about to flip down, I think. And then I put this in my discard pile. Now I'm going to attack for two. So I attack the soldier or do I go right for Goblin himself? I'm going to attack this soldier here. I'll do two damage. And then I'm going to flip down. So when I flip down, you can uh, shuffle one Spider-Man card from your disc pile, card pile into your deck. So do I like swinging in? I think I like web shot better personally I don't know why I'm shuffling that I should be shuffling this <laughs> nice good job good job there Peter way to go all right so I am done with all of that yeah I wish I knew who my shield allies were going to be I guess it's going to be a surprise for all of us that's what these first plays are all about all right so we're going to add one threat to the main scheme then goblin would scheme but he's confused but this goblin soldier does still scheme so we had a second one there now we're going to draw our encounter card we don't care much about these we want to get back to the miles stuff oh miles should have drawn four cards but i'm not going to look at them right now Ooh, i like the looks of some of this stuff all right so uh wicked ambitions when revealed, discard X cards from the encounter deck, where X is equal to double the villain stage number. So we're only on one because we are doing standard here. So that's discard two cards. Each goblin, each time a goblin minion is discarded this way, choose to either take three damage or put it into play engaged with you. I don't want to take three damage, but let's see. That's nothing, and that's nothing. All right, cool. Don't have to worry about it. Uh, yep, so that's it. So back to our turn. All right, we're on this side. There's not much to do here, but, ooh, I have Peter Parker Spider-Man here. Uh, requirement, one of each resource. While paying for this card, spend the listed resources. So you gotta spend one of each to play him. He is a 2-2 two -two with three health. After Spider-Man attacks or thwarts, choose another web warrior character and ready that character. What? 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 That seems super good. Now the problem is I don't have a lightning in my hand and the only um, uh, fist I have is a double one, but that might be worth it. All right, defensive mechanism. Hero response, after the hero uses a basic power, discard defensive mechanism to resolve Spider-Man's camouflage. What? Wait, wait, what? A hero response, after your hero uses a basic power. Oh, you have to discard it. So, I mean, while I have tough on, it's not as good as I thought, but it's not a forced response, so I could hold on to it. Oh, that's pretty good. All right, so I got uh, liaison agent. <laughs> wow, those aren't even words. Liaison, liaison agent. Wow, I am just, I'm going for it today. Uh, exhaust liaison agent to play a shield card from your hand, reducing uh, its resource cost by one. So again, I would get to play it, so I'd get to do some damage. I really want to get Spider-Man in, though. I think that's priority here. I mean, I like all these cards, but man, Spider-Man seems super duper good. And I haven't seen enough shield cards in my deck. Now, it is pretty cool. I do like this. Play shield cards, do two damage. I, I like all that. All right. So do I heal this two damage here? I think I do. 
So I'm going to get back up to 9, and I'm going to flip over. Then I am going to do, 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 discard this to put this into play. Again, I don't have to use it, but after your hero uses a basic power, I'm going to be able to resolve camouflage, which I kind of like. And then I do have to get rid of it, but I'm way overpaying. There's a fist. There's a mental resource. And here is our energy resource to put Spider-Man in. He just seems too good. He seems way too good. Two, two, three life. Um, and ready a web warrior every time he does something. Well, he's going to do something right now. He is going to punch this soldier in the face, which readies uh, Spider-Man Miles. Oh, 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 wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Maybe I don't want to do that. Hold on. Because if I defeat this, it deals one damage to me, which would plink off my tough. Which I definitely, definitely, oh, but then I could get it right back. Okay, yeah, I'll do that. All right, so, ah, but this would be a second tough for not one, yeah, yeah, no, I'm not doing that. All right, so instead, because uh, it says whenever you use them, I am going to go ahead and thwart with them. This one doesn't have guard, so I'm not too worried about it. When I thwart with them, I still ready myself, and I'm going to punch two on Goblin himself. Let's just do that for now. Um... All that seems pretty good. I'm not going to trigger defense mechanism because I already got my tough. So let's go ahead and ready up. We are going to draw back up to five cards. Ooh, is this a shield agent finally? Yes, yes. And so I can start using my field agent down here, uh, which is pretty... Ooh, shield tactic card. Swinging in, we've seen double life. All right, that seems good. And another web shooter, which I like. And again, especially if you got people like Spider-Man, uh, Peter Parker over here, who requires one of each different type of resource. That's good to have. All right, but we are going to add one threat here. Goblin is going to attack me. I am not going to do anything because I have tough. Ooh, so keeping secrets. That's my obligation. Um, well, we won't read too much about it. If you want to read it, you can. But for now, just know it has two boost icons. So that's going to be a total four damage. But again, doesn't matter. I'm tough. Then we are going to take one from Goblin Soldier here. Now we're going to draw another card and see what happens. Ah, we got a guarding goblin over here. Thrall. Alrighty. All right, back to my turn, which again, that's the fun part, right? <laughs> All right, so we got uh, Homeland Intervention. Exhaust up to three shield cards you control and choose a scheme. Remove two threat from the scheme for each card exhausted this way. Wow, that is interesting. I like that quite a bit, actually. Um, all right, so we got Monica Chang over here. After Monica Chang enters play, search your deck and discard pile for a copy of the surveillance team support and put it into play. Place one snoop counter on each surveillance team you control. So I'm going to add in another surveillance team and I get to boost up the surveillance teams I have. Unfortunately, I only have this one. Um, hand and discard pile for a copy of surveillance team, put it into play. So you put it into play doing everything. Then you place the snoop counter on each one you control. So even if it's nothing else, it's just going to put one on that one that you just put in to get up to four. So swinging in is the one that lets us remove four threat and do camouflage. This is definitely a justice -y deck. I like it. Uh, and then double life. Max one per round. Change your form. If you paid for this using a fist resource, ready your identity. Oh, wow. All right. So this lets me get a card back into my deck as well when I do that. Oh, I like that. All right. And then the web shooter, we know what that is. Huh. All right. So I want to get Mana Kachang out. Actually, I might not do that web shooter. And I might not do double life. Huh. 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 Well, I'm not going to do this to remove threat. All right. So let's pay one. I pay it for this. Let's do two, three to put Monica Chang in. Then I'm going to search for my surveillance team. I'll search in my discard. It said I could do that, right? Uh, deck hand and discard. All right. So not Monica Chang. Uh, surveillance team, which I have two of them in there. That's fine. That comes into play. Uh, exhaust. So it starts with three counters, but actually in this situation, it's going to start with four. Um, because then Monica puts one counter on each surveillance team. Let's not forget our Star Destroyer over here. After you play a shield card, exhaust it to deal two damage to an enemy. So we're gonna exhaust it to do two over here. 
So this will be up to four. And don't forget, I still have double life in my hand, which I am super happy about. Uh, all right, so let's see. We'll use this with one of these to remove a threat from the main scheme. Down to zero again. All right, then uh, we're going to do I have to exhaust this. Hero on up when shielding uh, would take any amount of consequential damage. Exhaust it and remove a backup order. Prevent one of that damage. All right. So we're going to have Monica Chang attack. She only has two life, but that doesn't matter because she has much more life because of this field agent here, which is really pretty neat. It lets you keep allies in play a little bit longer. So that's one damage. We'll go ahead and take out this goblin soldier over here with that one damage. Boom, boom, boom. All righty. Uh, and when that happens, I will take a damage myself. All right, now I want to use myself first because Spider Man's going to let me ready. So I will go ahead and tack this Goblin Thrall over here. When I do so, I'm going to trigger Defense Mechanism. So, as a reminder, what that does is it gives me Camouflage, which gives me Tough and gives them Confuse. So that gives me Tough, give them Confused. All right. And that does two damage over here because I did my normal attack to this goblin thrall over here. All right, and then uh, Spider-Man Miles is going to go ahead and attack over there. When I do that, this goes away and the goblin thrall goes away and I get to ready myself. Now I get to attack again for two more, one, two, off of goblin, uh, Green Goblin here. Now I got my double life card, so I'm gonna go ahead and use my web shooter over here. Last charge on it, so that goes away. That's not a shield card too, is it? No. To do a double life. Uh, change your form. If you paid for this using a fist resource, ready your identity. So I go ahead and change forms, and I use the fist because web shooter's wild. So I'm gonna ready. When I go there, I now I don't think I've discarded this yet. I'm pretty sure I haven't. So I got to pick a card. Uh, so let's go ahead and search for a card. I want to do the one, I think this one. Deal two damage. Uh, no, 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 not that one. I want to do the one that actually stuns him. Four damage to an enemy. If you paid for this using a lightning, resolve this venom blast. That one. So I went ahead and I, oops, I thought I was going to draw it, but that didn't end up happening. I don't, wouldn't actually technically draw it anyway. I put it in my discard. Yes. But ink, but ink, not my discard, into my deck, and I shuffle it in. All right, this deck's pretty fun. I liked it. And the funny thing is, it's not anything related to Miles, really. Now, I still get to flip if I want to, because that this doesn't count as my flip. This is just my change a change form. I still get my normal flip every turn. So I can do that, and now I can attack for two more. Bink, bink. Yeah, this is a fun deck. I am <laughs> I'm really having fun with this deck right now. It is very, like, I love this double agent. Or I love this shield mechanic. I love that they're adding shield into the game and made it pretty powerful at that. So let's go ahead and draw our five cards. Ooh, we got an agent 13 who is also a shield agent. All right, so maybe I should have put the thing in that made uh, <laughs> my shield agents cheaper. Uh, I got a couple, oh, I got three web shoots are they literally do i have three of them in my deck all right so hero action attack deal four damage to an enemy if you paid for this using a lightning resolve spider-man's venom blast oh i got three of those so apparently i got a ton of those in my deck uh, i have homeland intervention exhaust up to three cards to remove threat i'm not going to need that so i am going to have that lightning bolt to do a web shoot which makes me happy not going to be able to pay for agent 13 holy cow unless that's all i do after agent 13 attacks or thwarts choose a shield support and ready that support so she thwarts for two and could keep readying either my destroyer over here or my field agent or surveillance team. Ah, uh, interesting, interesting. All right, so yes, they have made shield super fun. Holy cow. All right, so we're gonna add one threat here and we are going to have goblin attack me. I am just going to take it because I have a tough status card and that adds one boost icon. So that would be three total damage, but I'm tough. Not an issue. Now let's go ahead and draw an encounter card and see where that goes to. Ooh, attach the green goblin. Force interrupt. When green goblin schemes or attacks, give him one additional boost card for that activation. So I could spend two mental resources to discard that. 
which I believe I have a bazillion mental resources in my hand. I do. But that would mean I'm discarding Agent 13, which might be what ends up happening. All right, so is that a hero action? Yeah, spend those resources. All right, but that is them done. Now it's my turn. I'm gonna use my surveillance team. Guess what's gonna happen? We're removing that threat right back off again. Um, and let's see, what do I wanna do? What do I wanna do? I mean, usually you'd say Spider-Man to chump, but I could ready myself if I use Spider-Man, which seems pretty good. Uh, I'm gonna use this. Uh, do, 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 do. So I'm gonna use my field agent and my uh, Monica Chang to do one damage over here. But ink, we will do that. I'm gonna do two damage myself. But ink, but ink, let's do that. Then I am gonna discard two web shooters here, which are both mental resources to get rid of this. I don't want them to double boost on me. No, thank you. Um, and then, so that is not a shield card. I haven't done any shield cardy stuff this turn. I don't think I'm going to because I have a uh, web shoot over here, which uh, deals four damage. And then if you paid for it using at least one lightning, resolve your venom blast, which I want to do. So there's one, two, and one of them's a lightning. So I'm going to go ahead and web shoot. So it's four damage plus two damage and stunned. So that's six damage and stunned. One, two, three, four, five, six, and stunned. Wow, talk about a very much a condition specific hero. Wow, <laughs> this is, uh, that's it's doing a thing. It's doing a thing quite a bit. All right, we're gonna have Spider-Man, Peter Parker, Spider-Man, go ahead and attack. And it says response after they attack or thwart, choose a web warrior and ready that character. I think even though you're discarding Spider-Man because that consequential damage will defeat him, I still think you get to do that special ability. I'm gonna do it here. If I find out I'm cheating, well, somebody tell me in the show notes if that is cheating. I don't think it is, but I'm gonna go ahead and do a special ability and ready myself. Uh, it's it's kind of neat because it, it makes you not want to necessarily chump with this Spider-Man because it gives you extra ability to do extra damage or whatever else. So when revealed, deal two encounter cards to each player. Well, alrighty then. There are two encounter cards. We will take those. But ink, but ink. And we are going to have to deal with quite a few uh, encounter cards after this. But Green Goblin, not so much. You are stunned and confused, my friend. Uh, what do I want to do with Miles here? Do I want to attack? I mean, I guess so, right? Let's, let's burn him down. And the real question is, do I flip? The benefit of flipping is I get an extra card in my hand. It also lets me put a card back in my deck. Yeah, I am definitely doing that. Uh, I'm gonna do that and then let's see. Let's search and I'm gonna do Arachnobatics, I think. One cost, that's a pretty good card for one cost um, where I get to do extra damage if they're stunned or confused. One cost is gonna do at least five damage here as long as they still have their stunned on, which they will um, and if that we, I can get it confused on him somehow. It'll do a total of eight damage for one cost. That's ridiculously good. All right, so those are all shuffled back in. Let's go ahead and ready ourselves up and we're gonna draw six cards this time. Do, 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 do. Ah, liaison agent. Seems like I should do that. Like this whole deck is about getting shield out. Ooh, uh, Genki Lee, uh, exhaust Genki Lee. Draw one card. If you're in hero form, discard a card from your hand. Oh, so it's a draw a card. If you are on your alter ego side, you get to keep that card if you're on your hero. So I'm glad we're on our alter ego side. Uh, power within. After your hero uses a basic power, discard power within to resolve your Venom Blast. Oh, yes, yes. Ooh, Jefferson Davis. Exhaust Jefferson Davis. Remove one threat from a scheme. Uh, so this is alter ego with the least threat. So you can, I mean, that's a decent support. I mean, nowhere near draw a card here. And even if you have to discard one, you're cycling, you still gives you the ability to cycle, which is pretty good. I mean, one free exhaust while you're on your, or one free um, threat removal while you're on your alter ego is not the worst thing in the world. Now it is very specific to the scheme with the least threat. So that's, that's interesting um, way of limiting that card. All right, so let's add one here. Now you are confused, so you are not going to scheme against me. 
but we are going to have to resolve one, two, three encounter cards. Let's do them one at a time. Goblin Glider. Uh, attach the enemy with the highest printed hit points. Yep, that's you, Goblin. You are on your own glider. Uh, one revealed Alter Ego. When Green Goblin schemes, uh, schemes with uh, plus X scheme, where X is equal to the villain's stage number. So he's going to scheme with a plus uh, two because he's stage two. So he's going to scheme for four plus whatever I draw here, which is one. So that'll be five. One, two, three, four, five, which is one away from popping this, which does not make me happy. Uh, let's see what this is. And we got a guarding goblin thrall over here. All right, so that is that. Let's go ahead and continue on and do some milesy type things. Homeland Intervention. Exhaust up the three shield cards you control and choose a scheme. Removes two threat from the scheme for each card exhausted that way. And that is a free card to do. So I can discard, or I could exhaust this, I could exhaust this, and I could exhaust this. I could just exhaust these three to remove six threat, which seems good. But first things first, let me go ahead and pay my double resource to put in uh, Genki Lee over here. Do, 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 do. And, oh, but then I couldn't use this uh, as a, uh, a hero blasting thing. Well, we'll see. All right, so I'm put him in. I'm going to use him to draw a card. Double life. Okay, so this lets me flip over and ready an extra time this turn. Now, it's not as good as last time because unless I use it to heal myself right now, then I won't get an extra attack or anything out of it. Um, so, not as good. Uh, exhaust is an agent to pay play a shield card for cheaper and when you use a basic power resolve venom blast which seems like something i want to do i do want to pay for this card too and i need this card all right so let's see if i can figure out how to do this well, this is a shield card that's free this is not a shield card but all right so i'm going to get rid of double life and uh jefferson davies to go ahead and put this uh, liaison agent in which is a shield which would let me play uh, shield cards for a reduced cost of one going forward but when I do that I'm going to activate this to do two damage to an enemy and that two damage will go right here onto this goblin thrall then I, then I am going to go ahead and use Monica Chang over here and I'm not going to use my uh, field agent over here to take that damage. She will take the one damage and I'll be okay with that to get rid of that goblin thrall. But ink out of here. All right, then I'm going to flip over. I'm going to do two damage myself. Wait, do I want to put this down first? I got to get do something about that threat. So no, I'm going to do, yeah, I can't pay for this, but I am going to hold this power within for next turn because that card is pretty stinking good all right so i'm going to do two damage to goblin myself one two and then i am going to play this uh homeland intervention card so exhaust up three shield cards uh you control to choose a scheme remove two threat from that scheme for each card exhausted that way so we got one we got two we got three all shield cards shield shield and shield and that will remove six threat for zero cost. That is unbelievable <laughs> from that scheme. Holy cow. Yeah, they did a real good job with this uh, with this deck and with this shield theme here. Uh, very, very good. This package you could take literally right from here and I think drop it into any hero and have a good time with that hero. So I'm, I'm pretty excited by what's going on over here. All right, so I am going to go ahead and draw my four more cards. I am going to hold on to the power within and we will see what happens from here. All right, we're gonna add one threat to the scheme. Then, Goblin, you are stunned. So, not doing anything there. Let's go ahead and draw a card, and Monster. I'm friends with the monster that's under my bed. When revealed, you are stunned. Well, that's not great. Uh, if you're already stunned, take two damage, and yeah, three attack, six life. Not great at all. Global Logistics, exhaust a shield, look at the top four cards of a player deck and discard. Discard any number of those and put the others on top or bottom in any order. Ooh, and I got Arachnobatics here. Ooh, Dum Dum Dugan. 
All right, th dum dum isn't so dum dum. Three thwart, three attack. Now I understand there's a lot of consequential damage there, and I also understand five cost is quite a bit. But when you uh you any shield when you use one of dum dum's basic powers, exhaust up to three shield cards you control. For each card exhausted, dum dum dugan gains plus one to that power for this use. What? What? Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? That card is so good. Oh my goodness. Ah, uh, and I got plenty of shield cards to exhaust. Wow. Man, that is good. Uh, power within. That would let me stun. I don't even care about stunning. I'll take the three damage. I'm stunned myself. Whoa, that is good. All right. Um, okay then. Wow, so they've made shield a thing. And uh, don't forget, after this, we are going to talk about our impressions. And I, I, I'm assuming you guys can see, I am super excited by this. I'm going to go ahead. Am I going to flip down this turn? I almost feel like I should, and in which case... Do I have anything to do while I'm up that I care about being up for? Not really, which is one of the uh, cooler things about this stuff. I mean, it could do this, but he doesn't have stun or confused on right now. So that, that card is not nearly as good as it was. I can't really. So after your hero uses a basic power, discard this to resolve Venom Blast. It's a special deal two damage and stun. So even while I'm stunned, I could do this. So I could actually thwart myself and use this power within, which is kind of neat. So do I do that? Would I have enough for Dum Dum then? I wouldn't. I mean, I kind of want to put Dum Dum in. Dum Dum <laughs> seems real good. Real good. So if I use this, that would be a second one exhausted. You know what? I'm just going it all in. So that's one, two, three. Four, five. And actually, I'm not even going to do that. I'm just going to pay the power within. I'm going to leave uh, this up and pay all five for Dum Dum over here. Uh, now, I'm going to exhaust this to do two damage to an enemy. One, two. Now, I'm going to attack with Dum Dum. Dum Dum attacks for three, but I'm going to use this card and it gets rid of it. That field agent, but now he only takes one consequential damage instead of the two he would normally take. Now, what Dum Dum can do, <laughs> um, exhaust up to three shield cards you control. For each card, he gets plus one to that power. All right, so we've got one shield card here, surveillance team. We got liaison agent, that's two shield cards. And Monica Chang over here, that's three. So now, Dum Dum du uh, Dugan is attacking for six. You heard me write six and took one consequential damage. What? I mean, what? <laughs> that is stupid good. Um, all right, now I am stunned myself. So do I just get rid of my stunned? I feel like that's probably the right call. Am I gonna really flip down? I don't know that I am. I'm not gonna flip down. I'm gonna go ahead and just get rid of the stunned. I'm not gonna flip down. Ah, uh, that's really gambling. I am going to flip down. We will go ahead and, oops, and use this card to draw a card to see where I am. Field Agent. Field Agent's good, because that's going to be two damage plus whatever. So I am going to hold on to Field Agent, and I will stay down. Because I'm not going to lose this way. If I am face down, I will certainly not be losing this turn. Now, um, if I am face up, I could end up dying. So I, I think being on alter ego, I say face down. I meant alter ego is probably the right call here. All right, so I'm going to draw, which gets me an encounter card because I did deck uh, deck myself. Ooh, we got Spider Woman in my in my hand. Uh, so that's the only card in the entire deck we haven't seen so far. So let's look at Spider Woman. Jessica drew Spider Woman. Uh, so reduce the cost to play Spider Woman by one for each confused enemy in play. Uh, she's two attack, one thwart with two consequential they're really playing with consequential damage here so she is shield also though and a web warrior oh so she's shield too oh man this is uh 
This is some good stuff. Exhaust liaison, li agent, <laughs> liaison agent. Play a shield card from your hand, reducing its cost by one. So you can't do it more than once per card, it seems like. Ooh, uh, arachnobatics, which would be good if I could stun or confuse. Oh, camouflage. Here you go. After your hero uses a basic power, that lets me camouflage. All right. So I got some, some stuff in my hand that could lead to an interesting uh, set of combos coming out here. All right. But let's do the villain phase. We're going to add one threat. Then Goblin is going to scheme. So this vehicle not doing a whole lot for the scheming. So schemes for two plus zero more. That worked out really well. Uh, now Monster is going to scheme for one. And that is the end of the villainy stuff that they're going to do. Now let's go ahead and draw our second encounter card. And let's see what they do. The villain schemes. Okay. I knew this was a very strong possibility. Uh, monster doesn't have guard, right? No. Okay. So the villain's going to scheme for two. It doesn't even matter what this flips up. Actually, that worked out fine. So that would have put this up by five, but really we only needed two anyway. So when completed in player order, each player not engaged with a goblin minion must discard three cards from the encounter deck and put the first goblin minion they discard this way and play engaged with them. Well, guess what? I do have a goblin minion here. So I don't have to do that. So that's gone. Now, uh, when revealed, advance to stage 2B. So let's do that. So we're going to put four threat on here. Uh, do, do, do. All right. X is equal to the number of goblin enemies, including green goblin in play. So this accelerates not by one a turn the way most schemes do. If you look at the top of the card here, you see that acceleration over there. It's going to uh, go up by one for each goblin in play, including green goblins. So it's going to go up by at least one a turn, plus however many minions really I have. Um, all right. If the stage is complete, players lose the game. Well, I'm not going to worry about that. Dum Dum's actually going to kill him himself uh, as long as this doesn't have guard here. Boom. Attached to the villain. After the villain attacks, discard pumpkin bombs. All right. So he's loaded up with pumpkin bombs, with his glider, but... That's not going to save him from Dum Dum. Nothing is going to save him from Dum Dum. Let's be honest. Let's let's just see what kind of fun stuff we can do. Because I, I do want to do a little bit of fun things on this last turn. So, oh, before I flip over, let's go ahead and use uh, my ally over here to draw a card. That's fine. Don't need it. So then let's flip back over. Let's see, what are we gonna do? So I wanna do this, which would give me camouflage. So I will pay one to give me camouflage out here. All right, so we got this. Now, um, I could use liaison to get spider woman in. Uh, oh, but even better if they're confused. So let's go ahead and do this. After here, use the basic power. Uh, discard it to resolve the camouflage. So we're going to attack for two, one, two, and then we are going to do camouflage. I know Dum Dum can beat him up by himself. I understand that, but I'm just trying to see what kind of cool stuff we can do. Give Spider-Man tough and confuse the enemy. All right. So I get tough and they get confused. Now we want to bring Spider-Woman in. Reduce the cost of Spider-Woman by one for each confused enemy in play. So instead of costing three, she only costs two. So let's go ahead and pay that two cost there. Then, <laughs> and then we could put a field agent in, which comes into play with three, which reduces the consequential damage that Dum Dum's going to take uh, <laughs> when Dum Dum attacks. Oh my gosh. All right. Oh, and for any of those shield cards, when I put them in play, I could have exhausted this and done two damage. So let's do that. All right, so Spider Woman can take him out, but we're going to do Dum Dum. Dum Dum attacks for three. We'll use one of these agent counters to reduce the amount of damage he takes. So he only takes one consequential damage. By the way, five life. You just keep doing this over and over and over and over. Ridiculous. Uh, then we are going to exhaust one, two, uh, sure, three cards to make this damage six. So we are doing, ah, we'll do six to the monster. We don't want any goblins out here. Uh, and then we got Spider Woman over here. She's going to take two consequential damage. But what she is going to do is take out Goblin. There you go. Spider Woman saves the day. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Let's get to our final thoughts for Miles here. 
All right, so final thoughts, what do I think? Well, I think there's a lot of fun stuff with Miles. Stunning, confusing, always good, adding tough. I mean, and with that one ability, he's adding tough to himself and confusing the villain. So taking care of two things, he can handle an attack and somebody can flip over and they can um, not have to worry about the, the threat that's being added to the main scheme. So any condition focused hero is going to be super fun and super powerful in this game. And Spider-Man Miles does not disappoint. But the thing I'm even more excited about, I feel like, is this new shield stuff. Holy cow. Yeah, I didn't realize some of those cards were shield in the past. Shield has be gone from like nothing to super powerful just with his deck. And like I said, I might even just take those shield cards and take that entire stack of cards and add it to a different hero just to play a different hero using shield stuff. It's super excited by the possibilities. I love these web warrior keyword that they're using right now. Also, they didn't use it a ton, but it was enough. The Spider-Man card in of himself where he can exhaust to do his attack or thwart or whatever, and then you ready your hero. And to make them more expensive, it's the first time I've seen this as well. They've often said, use this resource to get this bonus or use this resource to get this bonus. No, for Spider-Man, they're like, you have to use one of each different resource. So he costs three, but there has to be exactly one of each resource. So I don't know. They, this was very clever game design here I will say like Spider-Man Miles is doing a lot of really smart things and again I think we have now a super powerful new hero to play with as well because I don't think it matters where Miles goes he has a lot of neat cards that will work really with any deck um, anytime you do conditions, like I said, and a lot of his stuff triggers his condition abilities. He can do it with a basic attack. He has cards that do damage that also trigger these special abilities he has. Not only that, but he's got a card that costs one, which can do eight damage. And if you got two of those, if you've got him stunned and confused, and again, he doesn't have to be the one stunning and confusing. You could combine them with like Hawkeye or somebody else. I mean, speaking about <laughs> a hero that does conditions, I mean, Miles, I feel like, does it even better than Hawkeye does. And with a ton of damage potential on top of it, which Hawkeye has as well. And he's a little bit fragile. I mean, that's the one thing. So similar problems, I think, to Hawkeye. If you're dealing with a high damage output uh, villain, or if you're dealing with a lot of uh, minions, I think he's going to struggle a little bit because there wasn't much outside of the stunning abilities that is going to keep Miles alive. So, but... I think he is super good, super powerful, and super fun to play with. So as a reminder, go ahead and check out. I've got Gwen video up on One Stop Co-op Shop, the main channel without the streamed at the end. So go check out that video there. And I can't wait to start playing through this campaign. We're going to play as Miles and Gwen, and I am looking forward to playing Miles through this campaign because that's the one I'm taking charge of. So who knows? I might not do much to change it from this basic tech that we've got right here. I think it's super good as is. I love all the shield stuff. I might even see if there's more shield cards that I could add to it. So I, I don't know. Maybe we'll end up seeing me play through for the first time ever playing through with a standard deck or a slightly modified standard deck through the campaign. But keep your eye out here for future content. We do Marvel Champions every Friday night. Bye!